Ocasio Cortez is seen um, in a video clip as she speaks about the occupation of Palestine. She claims that the video is doctored. Now, I want to go ahead and run this clip here. And when it goes back, we will discuss it just a little bit here on Conservative Nation. Here we go. One thing I noticed after the election in that kind of fraught moment where you were here we go. yourself for the, the country, you really leaned into it. Like you, you, you basically took all comers. Um, and then, you know, and, and you were hitting on all of the strides. And then you did the one. I forget what the exact quote was. It was some misstep about Israel. Oh, yeah, the firing line, which then got doctored. And then the doctored yeah. video is the one that made it on Fox News. Right. And then, like, everyone just sees the doctored version Ooh. instead of the actual exchange, which is, you know. It did feel like you stepped back a little bit. And yeah. maybe there was already a scheduled recalibration, but it did feel like after that, you're like, okay, I we, think we pushed it as far as we could. Yeah. Now it's time to. I do think that there were a couple of things happening in that moment. One is that everyone in the world thought that my general election was a sure thing, except me. I did not think that my win in the general was a sure thing. I didn't either. Yeah, I was, talked about it. it yeah, two, no. It might have been two people. I, I, I yeah. did not. And like everyone around me was like, you're crazy. Like it's going to be a landslide. And I was like, no, it's not. And we were getting a lot of evidence on the ground that that supported my feelings on that. And so I really did not want to reach over what I thought I could. And um, and actually, before that interview even happened, I had already agreed that that was going to be my last one. And it just ended up ending on a bad note. <laughs> She's saying that this video is being doctored. What, what do you think about her claims here? Um, <laughs> let me start off by telling you that a very, very liberal TV show called Saturday Night Live is now doing parodies about Alexandra Ocasio-Cortez because some of her statements are so Looney Tunes, and I mean just crazy stuff that she says with a straight face as her Twitter following grows and grows and grows, that for her to say uh, NPR, which I believe did that video clip, which is about as left wing as you can get, thinks she's a terrific star and played it, and by the way, says it's 100% accurate. So let's be clear, Jermaine, the source of it was a left-wing news source. And on the left-wing news source, she says Palestine is occupied. Uh, no, it's not. It's the state of Israel. That's really, really scary. This is the same lady that the other day said the world will end in 12 years, Jermaine. Mm -hmm. This is the same lady that wants everything free from kindergarten through college. She wants free health care for everybody. She says that she, let me get this straight. Today she said she's cisgendered, therefore she is a class that is suppressive to people that aren't cisgendered. You go figure out what she's saying because I don't even understand it. She's privileged by being female and identifying as female as if everyone else isn't and is therefore a minority group. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> I've got you know, more um, the way. There's more. Yeah, there, there's more to it here. And um, I want to get your take on this. There was a video that was released on Wednesday that shows Congressman uh, Alex Congresswoman Alexandria Ocasio Cortez activist group DSA, which is the Democratic Socialists of America, voting to adopt the boycott and divestment sanctions movement, which is uh, basically they're calling for the annihilation of Israel. Um, it, it that is just crazy. Um, that is hate at its finest. Um, you you can't get around it. Why isn't the mainstream media, Barry, uh, speaking about this here? You know, um, we can find it in little oh, news article clips and stuff like that. Why aren't they calling her out on this? 
Well, that's, I'm really sad to tell you, Jermaine, that there's no logical reason you would think so. Uh, that same group, the DSA, Democratic Socialists of America, I believe it's on that video clip, are chanting, from the river to the sea, Palestine will be free. They're chanting for the annihilation of Israel. Literally, that chant comes from a terror group in the Middle East. That's their mantra. They're going to liberate the territory that is Israel and push the Jews into the sea and kill them all. So that's the platform of the Democratic Socialists of America. That is the party that Alexandra or uh, Ocasio-Cortez identifies with, and she doesn't repudiate any of this. That's really scary. I, I think it goes back to that question you asked me earlier, where are the mainstream Democrats Where's the Democratic Party pushing back against this? And you know, it's maybe there's an answer, and it and it goes back to your country of Minnesota again, which is the leader of the Democratic Party before Mr. Press took over was Keith Ellison, a Muslim who wanted to see BDS shutting down the state of Israel. Now he's no longer in Congress. He's your Attorney General, mm. in spite of the fact that. He had his girlfriend go to court and say, Keith Ellison beats me up regularly. And he's very proud that Elon Omar succeeded him in Congress and took his seat. Maybe that's where this is coming from. The same guy that could lead a Democrat party into believing this was okay is now left the party into another big job. And the guy that took over thinks it's great too. That's the party of Alexandria. Ocasio-Cortez.